Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video tutorial is going to show you some of the measurement commands that AutoCAD has built into it and these are really handy um, a lot of times it, you just need to know either a distance or an area uh, for calculating say you need to know how wide this door is you can just type in DI enter pick from endpoint to end point and it tells you right there the distance is three feet uh, it's at a perfect 90 degree angle it also tells you down in the uh, command line as well and that's because right now I have dynamic input turned on if I turn it off for a second and do the same command I'll just type in DI enter again and there it is down on the uh, command line and uh, gives me my angle again but uh, I just have the one line showing in my command line as it's uh, safe space for these uh, videos I do so anyway DI is great um, just to enter it again I mean if you need to know you know the length of this wall real quickly it tells you right there 12 foot wall so it's something you're going to use a lot and uh, I just want to show you some of the other measuring tools as well and these are available up on your ribbon here measure and you can go distance radius angle area and volume and we'll just go through some of these right now and uh, so I'll just type in measure and you can see you've got distances radius so if I look at radius now and I just need to pick on that and there we go and it doesn't show much on the uh, command line once again but just pressing F2 tells me that it, the radius is three feet which is good that's the same distance as the door opening I measured a second ago and it also gives me the diameter it saves you multiplying the radius by two so I'm just going to close that again I'm going to go back into uh, dynamic input this is one time I actually like using it because it just saves me a little bit of time if I have a lot of these to do and so if I need to pick an angle between two lines I can just select this line select my second line and it tells me right there the angle is 90 degrees so there's a lot of ways of uh, working with this tool so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here and let's say I want to find the area of this kitchen maybe I want to put tile in here so once again I'll just start my command and select area and I can just go and it'll just follow me around and press enter and it tells me right there that my uh, area is uh, 4600 square inches or 32 square feet uh, it's telling me this because I'm in architectural units that's what this drawing was uh, designed in so obviously if you're setting it up as uh, metric it'll tell you in uh, metric measurements as well so another one I'll check I'm just going to go into a simple 3D drawing here and that is volume and if you look down at the command line it'll say okay the object I'll just press enter for default press object and it tells me that my volume is 400 over 400 thousand square inches cubic inches I should say sorry and if I press F2 of course it tells me here as well so either way you'll get it uh, with dynamic input turned on uh, if I go to and volume I can also you know pick points but it's going to be a lot trickier so I would usually stick with the objects if you can um, it'll just save you a little bit of time 
And one other thing I'll show you, if I just type in VOL for volume and select objects, press enter, it actually is going to give me mass properties. And this is great for engineering, uh, moments of inertia, radius of gyration. Um, it just gives you principal moments and everything all written out. And you can write it out to a file if you want as well. It'll just create a simple text file for you. But mass, volume, bounding box, I mean, all this stuff is great to know. And if I was to try and calculate this on this particular shape, it'd be very difficult for me. My engineering skills are a little rusty, just to say the least. And that was just by entering VOL for volume. I can also type in mass prop and again select an object, press enter, and here it all comes in again. So those are uh, some very common things you'll be working with. I'm just going to go back here and show you another one which is list and I use this one a lot um, for example I don't know if this light is a circle and two lines or if it's a block so I can just list it and it'll tell me the block name uh, its insertion point and its scales so there's a uh, a lot of quick easy information there to learn about uh, an object. I'll just try another one here and we'll see what this is and it's a lightweight polyline also known you know it's a rectangle as well it's closed uh, it gives me the area the perimeter so there's just a lot of information you can get just off of the list command and so that'll work um, even on something like text It'll tell you the style name, the font, uh, the text type, and once again, just a lot of information that can be very handy when you need it. And the last one I'm going to show you is ID, and that is if you need a specific point. Maybe I would need to know where this point is, and it'll just give me that. But as soon as I move my cursor, it's gone. But it does stay down here at the command line. So I can see that uh, my X, Y, and Z coordinates are all listed there. Another way to see your um, points is uh, on the status bar sometimes. And a lot of times you might not see this if it's on such a small uh, window. If I just bring this out a bit, I've just stretched it and pull this over and you can see that wherever my cursor goes it's going to also give me the coordinates down here so if I pick this endpoint you can see that it stays right there and uh, once again it's a quick easy way to see where you are in a drawing but once again the ID command will give it to you on your command line so those are the uh, AutoCAD um, inquiry tools if you will as a general term measurement tools is uh, another one they're up here in utilities and uh, there's some other ones uh, you know calculator and stuff but uh, just wanted to show you the measuring uh, tools so that uh, you know where to find them anyway this has been my CAD site this is tutorial 4-6 it'll explain things a little bit more as well uh, check out the website for a complete free AutoCAD course. Thanks for watching.